going on my dudes so i was supposed to be meeting uh matt from sb fishing tv a uh, different ramp tomorrow morning it is currently 10 57 on thursday night but matt texted me like uh 6 p.m tonight and was like hey bud i might just head up tonight because i won't be able to sleep i'm too excited so screw it let's just go up and we'll just night fish we'll just fish 20 hours straight so we're pre-fishing the figure eight musky tournament tomorrow unlike last year where the river was at 23 foot this year it's at 1.5 so i'm just hoping we can get to the spots we're gonna try and record best we can obviously it's pitch black dark it's the new moon on sunday so it's pretty dark out but we'll keep you all updated First fish of the trip that we caught. This fish was caught around 2 a.m. We had no wind, it was calm. It was two days before the new moon and um, got her on a black bucktail. Enjoy. Yeah, this place, I mean, it does have a ton of like shallow rapids. But, fish, fish, fish. I'm gonna bring it around this side of the boat. I don't know if it's a smaller or musky. I think it's a musky. Ready? Yeah, She's coming up. I can't see. Get her in. Get her in. Get her. Good. Yes, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. That's a decent fish. Yes. Yes, dude. Oh, this is how we're gonna go. Give me that headlamp. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, don't let her get her. Don't let her. Get the pliers from up on the deck. I gotta get her head in the water. Yeah. Uh, uh, in the bag, actually. I think. She's often wrapped in the net. There we go. She might be just under 40. She hit like right away. As soon as it hit the water? Yeah, it was probably like two or three turns. Good freaking net job, bud. Mm -hmm. Just put the net off the, off the side. All right. Oh, hit my headlamp off so I'm not messing up the video. First one of the weekend for me and Matt on a black bucktail. We've been fishing for what? What do you think? Three hours. Three hours and nothing as far as we could see, but she's not bad. I'd say 37 or 38, but I'm gonna bump her quick so y'all can see. Let's see. Put her back in. What do we got here? 37 on the money. 37 inch her baby. All right, let's get her back. Yeah, she's good. Ready? Oh. And she's very lively, I guarantee you. She's not gonna take maybe 20, 30 seconds. I thought she was bigger than that, dude, but. I did too. I'll take it for a starter fish. Hell yeah. She's starting to tense up. Come on, big girl. For being so lively forever, you're. Oh, here she, she's gonna go. You can see that gill, you can see she had prior gill damage from being caught before. Mm hmm Oh, that giant. Yeah, see how the gill looks like a faded Mark. color on the back side? Oh, they both do. I could be wrong. I've never seen it look like that, though. Unless I just never noticed it. To get her to go, you just... Give her a good tap on the booty. I can't, yeah, bud. First one of the trip. First fish of the trip. Last night, Matt. Dennis caught a fish. Yeah, but I thought we weren't even gonna fish till today. We weren't. We weren't supposed to be fishing till today. So to start this one off for you guys, it's finally the time of year where Dennis and I fish our annual muskie tournament. Dennis caught what was it? A 36? 37. 37 on a bucktail at 3 a.m. 
we were so excited about today that last night at like eight o'clock I go I texted him and I was like Dennis what do you like what time you want to get there tomorrow or do you want to just go tonight and do some night fishing mm -hmm. and sure enough he's as crazy as me we got to the river at like 11:30, got everything ready fished for three and a half hours and he smoked a fish on a um, trilogy blade all yeah, black right the river's down so they're all pushed up shallow it's way, actually the way down the shallowest i've ever seen it in the five years i've been fishing it so pretty easy to pinpoint where they're going to be and we got lucky to find a hungry one for once hopefully so we can do the same when it counts and win a couple thousand dollars fishing for like thirty six hundred dollars tomorrow today we're just pre-fishing we're trying to pick apart different spots that we really want to key in on and hopefully put together some sort of plan for tomorrow and since we usually total like 14 muskies a year combined we're not worried about sore lifting we just want to catch fish we just want to catch fish for sure so let's get after it like a copper cart with a little bit of yep that's the one Good musky looking right at your mower, dude. are you kidding me literally come come up here pop it pop it it's literally sitting there looking at your oh pocket. yeah it is oh my god Shh. try to be quiet you see him right there hang on he, he might eat it off of that rock to be honest he's probably gonna hit it as soon as oh, it pops off sorry oh. oh he spooked that was my fault I thought he was gonna fucking dennis oh right i, I wasn't trying to steal his thing i was just assuming <laughs> that he was I'm gonna kidding. get spooked and trying to get him to eat. if you if That's that so had gotten to the shit. point where you could have gotten it off and like ripped it it might have been like a reaction strike yeah there. we just made a really long run up some extremely skinny water it's like a bunch of just like rock i mean that's all this river is is rock and we'll go between a foot and holes of 10 feet and thousands of suckers thousands and thousands of suckers which is a good sign so we decided to stop i mean we couldn't really go any farther this bar is just six inches so we're gonna work this down see how that works out and then probably go grab some lunch and we're going to kind of decide if we want to stay on this stretch of the river or go somewhere else we're making our way up the river right now and it's kind of an extensive process because we have to go through anywhere between like hitting rock bottom literally and pools of like six feet look at this outcropping of rocks here that we're about to go up it might be like three inches but luckily since dennis has the jet we kind of puts our way through it Every time we're running up this stretch, I am definitely puckered up. Well, we called it quits on the other section of the river like two hours ago, we'll say. We saw six or seven, maybe eight fish. Zero action though. So we're gonna try to move some fish and hopefully catch a couple because we definitely, definitely need it. You see it? No. Oh, it was like... Oh, is that no, that's a rock. She was like literally a foot behind your bait. Yeah, she was right on her. And like she must have came right off the bottom. Right freaking below the surface. It's so cool. And I kept kept it enough away that she didn't seem to give up at first. Yeah. And she made that second turn, that turn right there, I thought she was coming after it. Coming right off. It looked like she was still under it too. That would have been a cool top water eating the figure eight. Could dig in the top water for sure. Just gotta get that nice on. <gasps> hit it, hit it. Hit it, hit it. Oh, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Get in that, get in there, get in there, get in there. Ready, ready, ready? Oh. Get her. Just a little guy, but I'll take it too. Yes, bro. I got her. Oh, no. Like, nipping, nipping, nipping. I felt her nip it. She's just, she's like, she might not even hit 30, but still, that was cool as shit. I think that has to be a different fish, dude. The other one definitely looks bigger. She definitely got, she me a good time. Number Calm two down, for lady. you. Kill Ooh, it. Look at my legs shaking. I'm fired up now. <laughs> that was so cool. That's the first topwater muskie I've ever seen, actually. Little girl, I'd say probably 30, and then Lee's Lord's 
top water chopper. She hit it and then uh, she missed it and came back for it. But um, yeah, we're gonna get her back because we might have a feeding window. So, Whew, thanks for the fun, pretty mama. Go back to your mom now. Yeah, she's gonna go. She's tensing up. Seven AM Saturday, September twenty eighth. First cast of Muskie in the Mountains right there. Terrible cast. So yesterday we figured out the fish were definitely eating top water when the wind picked up a little bit, but since it's low light right now and we're kinda of making these first casts of the day, Dennis is gonna be starting off with a chopper from Lee's Lures. And I'm gonna throw a black bucktail around. I think we're just gonna try to cover water and try to get a really early bite here in this creek mouth. And then we're gonna run way up through the really skinny water again and just spend all day up there focusing on some big fish. But if we bag a fish, I'll be happy because the last two years we've had we so many chances. We are bagging a fish, buddy. We are bagging a fish. First cast. Right. Either followed in and got understood, or we just cruised up on him. Yeah. While he was I mean, with these weed beds around here, I'm sure he was just. I mean, we might have been followed in, but feeding, chilling, sitting up here on the flat. That's a good sign. That was a better fish too. That was a forty or so. That's a good fish, dude. Whoa, leave it, leave it, leave it. Bring it around this side, bring it around this side. Bring it here. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? This side. Bring it around the back, bring it around the back. We got one. We got one, dude. Focus! musky shakes. Gotta get her head in the water. Yes, dude! Yes, dude. Oh, on the f board. Okay. She's free. Good. Yeah. Good. On the big O, dude. Dude, she, you, she got you got a good. You got a good hook set because I, she, I thought she was gone. I got it stuck on here. That's why I hate netting on the back. Well, I was trying. Because, like, like I said, like this bag so big. That was my fault. There, you did nothing wrong, but. Tournament. It's tagged. Oh, it's a tag. I think I caught this one before. Awesome. All right, we're gonna bump it real quick. All right. Well, this fish measured in at 40 inches. Me and Dennis's first ever tournament muskie. Super stoked to have finally caught one. Hell yeah. We're on the board. Only took us three years, but we got it. This fish ate a Big O's Smoke Perp bucktail. It's like pink and blue, just awesome. So stoked. It was a bit of a chaotic net job, but we got it in the bag, it's all that matters. Released healthy, and it was a tagged fish, which is super cool. So, we gotta get back out on the water. Get another one, Dan. Heck yeah, get them. Two bucktails, but I see what you're saying, it's something different, and it's different. And the vibration, and this puts off lots of vibration, and I can do it fast. See that? Don't get me wrong, if you bring in another fish on a bucktail, I'm probably gonna put one right back on. <laughs> right, I'm saying smaller, but it's fun. I mean, bring it around the front, bring it around the front. Oh, it just fucking popped! No, dude! Damn it! Oh. Well, that, I don't even know if that was 30. 
It was short. It was 28. Still. Thanks for yeah. making me put a bucktail on before I even got to throw this. Yeah, bucktail. Bucktail for sure. Yeah, dude. All right. Another fish hooked up on the Big O's. Smoke perp. Yeah, smoke perp. Sick. Action is hot today, which is something we were talking about yesterday. Since it was so freaking slow, kept being like, well, they got to fire up eventually. They got to eat. Luckily, they are right now for sure. Uh, that was. It wasn't a very big muskie. It was probably low 30s, maybe. Give us number two so we can have some good points on the board to begin with and chill out a little bit and fish. If that thing doesn't start up right, mm -hmm. grab the eyelet. I'll show you on mine what I mean. Oh, it it okay. starts, if they start up perfect then. No, this one's actually not giving me any problems. Speed it up, speed up. That's a tanker, that's a tanker, that's a tanker, that's a tank. That's a, that's a 48, 49. Keep her going. That is a monster. Matthew just moved a absolute super tanker. <laughs> Definitely pushing 50 inches all day long. She was thick. Big O's. We it's moved a tanker off of this exact wall like two years ago. That was the biggest fish I thought I'd ever seen. And this could be the same girl. Could be the 46 Matt caught earlier this year too. But back in January, huge head. I mean, that thing's head was giant. There was no mistaking that as a follow. So we're gonna back her up Spend here. Sped it up. And we're gonna get her in her bag. Didn't eat. She's, She's gonna, gonna eat, eat right now. Next time, as soon as you spot it, speed it up as fast as you can. All right, finished up with day one. So this is where Dennis and I are parting ways. So tomorrow I have that bass fishing tournament with Ace. Dennis is coming out solo tomorrow and he's gonna pick up where we left off and he's got a fish from seven to 12 and he's gonna bag a couple really big musky solo tomorrow. Today was really good. We finished with one fish for 40 inches and from what we heard, actually, it's a super tough bite. But. So we got one more half day. Dennis is fishing from seven to noon tomorrow. And then we'll see the final results. Hopefully we end up on top. So that's where we're gonna leave you guys off for this one. We'll see you tomorrow morning.